Hi, I'm Iman, and welcome back to the second part of a series on the HiCU HD security camera kit. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up the cameras to the NVR. In my, and if you haven't checked out my first video on the unboxing, then check that out. For now, let's get to setting it up. Alright, so we haven't set this system up yet, but my dad has a rough idea of how to set it up. And I guess we'll just do it as we go along. So, they also say on the Amazon page that it's plug and play. So I'm going to guess that when you set it up, it also already has some things pre-configured so that it should help you with setting it up. So, let's just go. Let me clip the other way. And I think for the video, let's get rid of this unsatisfying thing. Peel that away. Okay. So, first off, we're going to plug in the power supply. So the power supply for the NVR is actually bigger than the other four. It's this big one, not these small ones. And you can see that we already have it plugged in. What we're going to, what we're going to do next is we're going to take a monitor. Uh, just note that this kit doesn't come with a monitor. This is actually one of our monitors. And you want to hook up the HDMI cable. Uh, this is also one of my HDMI cables, but this kit does come with an HDMI cable. On the back, this is the DC cable. And you want to hook it up, you want to hook up the HDMI cable to the HDL. All right, the next step, or really in any order, is to hook up the cameras. So first let's try with one camera, and then after that we'll see what we go with four. So I think we'll use this one because it has the antenna in. We're going to hook it up to this power supply. So these power supplies go in this smaller cable right here. And you know, let's turn on this monitor and see what happens. And I guess while we're at it, let's plug in this mouse. Oh, it's already gotten entangled. Huh. Okay. That's a good start. Okay. Let's make sure it's plugged in the right places. Okay. Not the start I wanted. Hmm. Okay, let's try a. Oh, whoa! I have no idea what happened, but apparently we set it up. So that, I think that's what they mean by plug and play. You can just plug it into the power supply, and it'll do the rest for you. We have one camera set up. That's fantastic. Now it looks like that this this camera is actually uh, the third camera. You know, one, two, three, four, and I think that means that these. All the four cameras are already paired with the NVR, and uh, each one already is assigned a specific number. But we'll confirm that once we set up the other three. Let me talk about how to actually set up a camera, because I didn't show that before. But if you want to articulate this joint, it's already tightened when you first open it out, or out of the box. But you can loosen it with a screwdriver, Phillips head. Maybe a bit more tighter than I thought. Okay, so now you can see that you can actually swivel it. We're going to make it look like this, look like the other one. Or no, let's not tighten it yet, because what we have to do next is on the back here, there's a port where you connect the antenna. And this one's already articulated by itself. So now we're going to tighten it. Actually, we'll leave that for later. But now we're going to take a power supply. Oops. We're going to take a power supply. Oop, that beep. And we're going to set it up to this camera. Let me move that away from that direction. That's what the boot up screen looks like, by the way. Give it a minute. I guess we'll set up the other three while we're waiting. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I think it's taking a while to accept the signals. Oh, there we go. So, if I move this one around. Network cable disconnected. Please plug in cable. Um, okay, that went away. I. Uh, okay, so <laughs> the boot up was a bit weird, but I think for now we have two cameras set up. 
when we have well we'll come back later and show what show you what it looks like when you have four cameras set up all right we have all four cameras set up one of if this is to the front of the yard front of our house back of our house you can actually view from there um i think that's about 75 feet away that, that's gonna be useful for later this one's still inside and the other one is viewing the living room which is over there so talking about um the ui the user interface it's actually pretty cool you can actually see the connectivity how well it's connecting so the one inside are four bars four bars this one's three bars um it's a bit farther away but this one right here is fantastic it's three it's three bars even though it's like maybe 75 feet away that's that's pretty good actually they also have this little nifty thing this is called a wi-fi range extender so if you want to set up a camera far away then you can put these along with it so that you can receive that um, signal. Even if it may be the, I think regularly, it should be around 150 feet. So maybe, let me see how far this could go. This doesn't say how far this can go, but it, it should be able to go more than 150 feet. All right, so according to my dad, apparently the way, it's a very nifty system. The way that these can work is that you can, I believe the term is called daisy chain a few cameras up, uh, maybe 50 feet apart. And they actually send their signals through the other cameras to the NVR. So you could set up one closer to the NVR, one 50 feet away from the camera that you set up first, and it will, it will be able to send that signal to that camera, which sends it to here. And then you can set up a camera 50 feet away from the second one, and maybe 50 feet away from the third one. And that fourth camera will be able to daisy chain that signal all the way back to the first camera and the NVR. So that's pretty nifty. Our cam our house is around 300 feet from the front to the back. So using this daisy chaining system, it should be able, we should be able to get a full view of our entire um, land. So already the features are impressing me, um, just how much they've done, uh, especially with a small company apparently, just how they incorporated all of this into this, this product for $200. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not being shielded right here, but it's pretty good. Um, but we're going to talk more about the features of the product. Like I heard there was night vision, uh, maybe how to zoom in, how to use the app to view the camera in a future video. Uh, just a few things before you go. Uh, when you first boot this up, there's going to be sort of this login. It says a uh, username admin and password is blank. Uh, when you get to that point, just press okay, right click, this is according to the manual. Right click, go to, actually I'll show on the monitor. Right click, go to system setup, go to networks, no, go to system admin, go to user, and then you go to set password. So we already set the password. Um, we can't tell you what it is, but make sure you write it down because apparently resetting the password if you forget it is a uh, pretty tricky. I think it says that if you forget the password, let me find it. Forget the password, how to reset it. Uh, go, within the red box, click the left mouse button, right mouse button, left click, right click, last six times. Wait. Okay, I have no idea what this says. Um. But we're just going to put that away for now. So we're going to install these cameras. My dad's going to do it in the in between this video and the next video. Um, we don't have to show installation. It should be fairly simple, um, fairly intuitive. But in the next videos, like I said before, we're going to show you some other features like night vision. All right, but for now, uh, let me just show you some few things that I discovered without looking at the manual. Um, for one thing, we don't know how exactly to set up volume. I know that if you right click, it says volume already. And you can set it. We have our monitor, the, it's, the volume is already raised on the monitor, so I have no idea how to set it up. You can actually click on an individual, oh, you can actually click on an individual camera and see what is. Okay, that's not what's supposed to happen. I think two of them just disconnected. Okay, that's weird. Um, we're gonna do the bottom ones. You can, <laughs> you can write, you can click twice on one of the cameras to see that one, just that one. So, wow, that's fairly responsive, and the image might not look, look so clear here. But on a better on a better on a better TV or monitor, it might look high definition. This one's a, ver a fairly old monitor, though. All right, 
So you can adjust the channels, and this sort of setup is for eight monitor, uh, for eight cameras. Like I said before, this can support up to eight cameras. So um, I don't know how you set up those additional cameras, but maybe we'll do a video on that in the future. But I think for now, that's all the, the features I've discovered. Any other features, probably would I would need the manual for. But for now, I guess that's it. I'm Aiman, and thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and look at other videos on I and Aiman, especially the series of the High CU. Um, I'm still not sure how to pronounce it. Maybe High ICU uh, HD Security Cam Wireless Security Camera uh, HD NVR Kit. So, like I said before, two hundred twenty-eight dollars, pretty cheap, but you get a lot of bang for your buck. And I guess for now, I'm Aiman signing out. Peace. That was long.